Putin's shame. Russian troops in Kazakhstan refuse Putin's pleas. Russian troops currently in Kazakhstan are resisting returning to Russia to avoid being sent to Ukraine, according to Ukrainian military intelligence. Russian peacekeepers have been stationed in Kazakhstan since earlier this year, when they crossed the border to quell protests in January. The protests, sparked by social unrest around the supply of liquefied gas to Kazakhstan, prompted the country's leader to ask for Moscow's help to stabilize the former Soviet state. However, military intelligence for Kiev asserts that Russian forces in Kazakhstan now refuse to leave the country's territory and return to places of permanent deployment. They argue that the official reason is the lack of air transport, but that the fact is that the forces in Kazakhstan are reluctant to risk being redeployed. It added, however, the command of the Russian Federation does not abandon its intention to completely withdraw its troops from the territory of Kazakhstan, which was introduced there during the suppression of protests in January against current government. This is about a thousand servicemen, fully armed and equipped, currently stationed near important infrastructure, airfields, military training grounds, oil depots, Baikonur Cosmodrome, etc. It was not immediately clear how many Russian troops remained in Kazakhstan after Moscow announced its withdrawal from the country at the end of January. On August 28, the defense forces of southern Ukraine destroyed 11 invaders, military equipment and three command posts of the Russian army. Our missile and artillery units hit three command posts in Kherson and Deryivka, including the 35th Corps in Nova Kakovka. Ammunition depots in Lubimivka and Kherson were also attacked, said Vladislav Nazarov, spokesman for the Operation Command, South, posted on the Telegraph. With that said, confirmed enemy losses were 11 soldiers, three armored vehicles and an msta s self-propelled howitzer. The bridge and bridge over the river Inhulets are under the fire control of the armed forces of Ukraine, the objects do not work after the damage. As reported, from February 24 to August 28, Ukrainian defense troops eliminated about 46,750 Russian soldiers and destroyed 1,942 tanks, 4,257 armored vehicles, 1,050 artillery systems and other equipment of the enemy.